The Colorado River. For over six million years, it shaped our landscape, the heart of the modern American West and Southwest. A precious resource for farms and families, small communities and cities. Now we must save it, because our economy, cultural heritage, quality of life and wildlife are threatened. The river that sparked so much Western ingenuity requires more Western ingenuity to save it. The American West and Southwest would not be what it is today without the Colorado and its tributaries. The river was essential to settlers, Native Americans, and people who migrated here. Settlers in the 1800s found this region dramatically drier than the East. The Colorado made life as we know it possible. The land was settled swiftly as people created new lives for themselves, farming along the river. Over time, dozens of laws and regulations were put in place to share the river's water. Later, massive dams and reservoirs harnessed the water, creating a thriving region in and near desert. The Colorado River made the desert bloom. Our dependence on the Colorado River today is stunning. 70% of the river's water is for irrigation, and for 36 million Americans, it's their source for drinking water. The river touches almost every segment of the Western economy, power and energy, food, farming, and recreation. It's an economic engine, and so much more. But the demand for water is now dramatically higher than the river's supply. Using water at this rate is not sustainable. Now, water levels are dropping and dropping. Many species of plant and wildlife are threatened with extinction. At the mouth of the river to the south, what was a lush landscape only decades ago is now arid. Maybe the most important American river is now ranked our most endangered river. If we don't take action now, the consequences are unimaginable. Report after report presents conclusive evidence much of the Southwest will not be the same for future generations. But we can solve the problem with simple conservation in cities and on agricultural land. And new innovations such as water recycling programs and water banks can make the difference. These 20 high school students took action through Nuestro Rio, taking a six-day rafting trip to study the river up close and then went to Washington, D.C. to talk about the problem with policymakers and members of Congress. So what can you do today? It's simple, and you can do it in two minutes. <laughs>